strange things, stranger things. I'm running up that hill just like Max. I'm spazzing like a demo Gorgon on this track. Rest in peace to Eddie Munson. Please bring him back. Please do it for the fans and for those you can't. What's going on, YouTube, man? We have a sneak peek reaction. For Superman and Lois Season 4, Superman vs. Doomsday, that's what it's headed as, and man, we got 2 minutes and 58 seconds of <laughs> of monster battle goodness, bro. <laughs> that's a good amount of footage for us to see, bro, so we're gonna see Superman and Doomsday going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Again, you know what I'm saying, this is basically Death of Superman getting iterated in the show to be the final season, and you know, uh, the reaction I did to that trailer... Uh, or the teaser trailer that dropped recently saying that it's crazy that they're really ending this show even though it had so much more to give and uh, people in the comment section were saying that James Gunn gave the he gave the order to get this show canceled due to him getting full reins of DC and I saw the new DC Studios logo which looked pretty dope classic vibes of DC you know what I'm saying that's how that you know I think that's yeah, that's more of the classic logo that we had a long time ago, if I'm not mistaken, for DC. He just made it more uh, more modern, but classic feel to it is still as well. So I, I like, again, James Gunn is doing his thing for the logos. Still have my gripes for the Superman suit, but it's growing on me. And all we can do is just hope and wait to see the greatness of Superman, which was called Superman Legacy, but now he named it Superman, so... You know, I'm not going to be nitpicky on that no more because of set photos or whatever. I'm just going to wait until the trailer drops, until teasers drop, until we actually see some ground baking, some real groundbreaking clips or footage of the actual film in its entirety instead of just going off of photos. So whatever, I'll just do, re I'll review the photos and every check them out, but I'm not going to be too harsh on it. Again, I'm going to wait until the final product to, for, so we should, that's what we all should do. Just wait until the final product so we can actually relay some authentic um, re reviewing and authentic, uh, you know, conversations to be had when we actually get some real substantial completed footage for Superman. But dude, this looks dope. I'm gonna hop into this. Again, Superman and Lois is basically my favorite CW show ever, honestly. It's the only one that's really caught my attention. I like the family dynamics. I like the characters. The arcs were great. Every season of me really hit, man, you know, just the dynamic with Clark's brother, his family, when it came to John Henry and his daughter, that situation, Bizarro turning into Doomsday. The writing is solid. The writing is solid, and it's very interesting how they did certain turns and twists to the characters that we love and know. So we're going to hop into this man again. I love the show so much. I really wish that we had at least one or two more seasons. It had so much more to give. We could have seen so much more villains, heroes come into the fray. But this is it, guys. This is Superman and Lois Swan Song season. So let's hop into it and let's give it our undivided attention. If you're new to the channel, like, share, comment, and subscribe. And hit my Discord so we can have a couple of chats. Everybody can hop on in the Discord. And I will be having my Patreon uh, up and running very soon. Let's get it, guys. Let's hop into this. Alright, so there's the moon. They're really going outer, outer space. They're having an outer space brawl. Oh, that's a nice shot. That's nice. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Yo. It's funny how this, I'm, I'm, this design is way more wholesome and better to me than the Batman vs. Superman doomsday design. All he needs is just white hair, and he's perfect. These doomsdays need to have their white hair. Yo, <laughs> yo, his heat vision. Oh yeah, it comes out of his mouth. He looks terrifying. Oh, he ripped a piece of his bone out. And I love the backwards S on, you know, still ingrained in his skin in his chest. I love how his unit, how his suit became a part of his body from the transformation of Bizarro to do. Yo, okay, he's growing the, the classic eyebrow bones. <laughs> he's only getting more powerful.
Dude, they're going at it, bro. Superman is giving his best. Oh, snap. Oh, gosh. He's, ra he's ragdolling him. Man, throwing him. He's throwing him through. Throwing him through those asteroids. He's still looking at Earth. Gosh. His freaking brain is rattling. Here comes Doomsday. Get back into it, Clark. Come on, dude. I love him looking at Earth, reminding him what he's fighting for, bro. Oh, is he storing? Oh, he about to hit him with a huge heat blast. <laughs> Bro. Man, oh man. <laughs> As I say, guys, bro, Tyler Hoechlin, or Tyler Hecklin, however you want to say his last name, bro, my boy Derek Hale from Teen Wolf, he always comes through with the acting chops, he's always, a lot of people really see this man as an underrated Superman amongst all the other Superman, and this is, this is why, it's like, no matter how, you know, wonky the CGI can look every now and again, because it's a CW show, no matter your gripes about how his suit is and how it's designed or whatever, but he's really made this role his own. He's really made... We've had this... This show's been around for, what, a couple of years now. So he's... Dude, he's really doing his thing on this CW show. That's why I'm so irritated and just very sad that this is obviously ending quicker than it should be, you know. And he he needs his flowers. He needs the respect, bro. Because, again, when I first saw him as Superman, I was like, I don't know. But as soon as I actually sat down and watched the Superman and Lois show, I fell in love with it. And I said, dude, this guy is Clark. He is Superman. Like, bro, to be real, he's more Clark and more Superman than Henry Cavill was. The thing is, Henry Cavill, he just looked the part. And even though Henry Cavill's a good actor, how Zack Snyder wrote his Superman just did Henry Cavill no service. But whoever wrote the whoever wrote how how Tyler Superman was and is did a fantastic job, ten out of ten. The top character, the top actors who have actually had a good Superman and Clark really displayed in live action was Brandon Routh, Tyler Hecklin, and uh, Christopher Reeves, of course. But Henry Cavill really got the short end of the stick when it came to portraying, truly portraying, uh, Clark. And having a chance to portray Superman. Zack Snyder, he didn't write him good. He didn't give him that chance. So when I think of top Superman and Clarks, I think of Tyler Hoechlin, uh, Hecklin, dude, is, is in, being on that list. Because he's really going in, dude. And again, this is a CW produ uh, produced show. This man acting like this is cinematic. He's acting like he's in theaters with these the acting. With the Superman mannerisms. With the Clark mannerisms. He really went for it, man. And I, again, I love the display of him being seasoned, him having a family, uh, his brother, uh, just all the arcs that we had, the Mannheim situation. And then you have Lex, a seasoned Lex. This Lex looks like he is no joke. And even, even that Bizarro, I just love how demorphed and just sickening he looks, dude. And just being how Lex transformed Bizarro into doomsday through just making him increase his pain and just turning him into a monstrosity and lo and behold he's going to be the same thing that's going to kill or unalive excuse me for purposes of youtube unalive clark kent slash superman for this season all i hope is that tyler does not i hope his superman doesn't come through towards the very end of the season i wouldn't i i, I would not like that he needs to he needs to rebirth 
and the like the 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 middle of the season that's when he should come back for sure i just again i know that this is just this is bittersweet only because we know that this was a pushed and forced see a final season and this was not the full intent this was not the full plan for the show but now that james gunn is running things he's doing it how he needs to do it i just james look at me man i hope everything you're doing is for the good of dc and that's all that i care about because i saw that creatures commando or, or commando creatures whatever i saw the um i saw the teaser trailer for on max uh, the other night and honestly it looks decent and i i get he's he likes to go for those c list d list you know characters and likes to make him shine you know shout out to guardians of the galaxy so i get him doing the ground up for certain characters that aren't really in the forefront so that look, it looks like it's going to be a decent animated show but i can't wait to see those live action projects you got coming i want to see some teasers i can't wait to see reveals i can't wait to see promos all that trailers all that i'm surly focused on that live action aspect of dc right now and james you know people are on your ass bro so please just i just i hope that you have a true vision i believe in you james i love guardians of the galaxy i really dig brightburn and some of his other projects you know suicide squad was a, it was a funny uh, movie i enjoyed it thoroughly so again james i trust you please don't let us down you suck for ending the show so early but i'll let it slide only if you make it worth it. <laughs> we'll leave it's worth our while, okay? I love the show so much. That was an awesome sneak peek of Superman vs. Doomsday. October, can't come any sooner. <sighs> to the cast of Superman and Lois, thank you guys so much for the few years of of really exploring and, and giving us a side of Superman that we really haven't got a chance to really see on the live action. With his family, his teenage sons, and Jordan becoming, you know, Superboy and how things just elevated and evolved. It's great. It's awesome. I can't wait to see this final season. I love you guys so much. And if you're new to the channel, man, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit up the Discord and Patreon will be available very soon. I love you guys so much. Guys, let me know in the comment section down below what do you think about this little sneak peek of this pay-per-view bout. We already know what's going to happen. Obviously, Clark slash Superman is going to bite the dust. His sons are going to have to step up. Lois is going to have to, you know, be the mom of the family, be the man of the family as well. Until time being, she's going to have to really hold everything on her back. Even after her cancer situation, bro, Lois is going through it. I'm sorry, baby. I hope everything's going good for you. <laughs> but yeah, I can't wait, man. I really hope that this season is everything that it should be, even though we didn't get the entirety and the original plan, but... Amen. Wow. I love the show. I love you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next reaction video. Peace. She got that bougie goo. I ran up a check on you. I pull up in the forum with you. I just might cop a ring for you. I might give you a baby or two.